Hello, and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm Joshua Wright. And I'm Louis Bose, and here's the latest news from the Enterprise. An annual survey of the Chesapeake Bay showed a 60% growth in the crab population, bringing it to its highest point in seven years. The survey showed a consistent higher level of abundance of female crabs since conservation efforts began in 2008, with the adult female crab population increasing by 29% in the last year. Thomas Miller, director of the Chesapeake Biological Laboratory in Solomons, said it's good news all around. U.S. News & World Report looked at more than 23,000 high schools and compiled a ranked list of 17,000 high schools. Maryland Public Schools didn't get higher than 1,000 on the list, but out of the 216 ranked Maryland schools, Chopicon got 65th place, Leonard Town High School placed 66th, and Great Mills placed 92nd. The list ranked schools based on six categories, college readiness, math and reading proficiency, math and reading performance, underserved student performance, college curriculum breadth, and graduation rate. Jamie Gillian came to America from Scotland, bringing his punting abilities from the rugby field to Leonardtown High School's football field. But his coaches had to teach him the basics of American football. Gillian has come a long way since his first day at Leonardtown, including his signing with the Cleveland Browns as punter after going undrafted in the NFL draft when it ended April 27th. The Leonardtown High School graduate played on a full scholarship at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff and broke all of the school's previous records before signing with the Browns. Gillian had attended a pro workout that allowed him to meet Browns coaches. 20 NFL teams reached out to Gillian before he decided to sign with the Cleveland Browns. The St. Mary's County Youth Advisory Committee is still in its early stages, but its members are excited for the future. The group consists of high schoolers and college students that wish to encourage civic participation, provide a youth perspective on county issues, and bring about positive change. Donovan Weekly, the president of the commission, said all we're doing is providing a platform to amplify the youth's voice. The group first officially started meeting in October and it now has plans to grow. The Youth Advisory Commission is trying to grow from 6 to 13 members. Anyone aged 14 to 22 can apply and they have three adult advisors. A nearly two decade long effort to provide the region's livestock industry with infrastructure that it needs to reach new customers across the state is finally coming to an end with plans for a new regional agricultural center. Eddie Bowling, chair of the Southern Maryland Agricultural Development Corporation, announced St. Mary's County's unanimous win last Thursday at the SMADC's monthly meeting. The county's proposal features a meat processing facility in Charlotte Hall, which will have state-of-the-art equipment, room for expansion and proximity to the Amish-operated slaughterhouse in Mechanicsville. St. Mary's County Commissioner Todd Morgan said, this is a big thing for the farming community down here. The Agricultural Center will offer butchering, cooking, and packaging services. This news brief has been provided by The Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Louis Bose. And I'm Joshua Wright.